Hey, what's up, folks? Chris Outers, Slunger Cat Outdoors. We got some big baits. We're on the James River. Let's see if we can't put some blue caps in the boat. Stick around. Way to start the morning off. It feels like a solid fish. Beautiful sun horizon coming up back there. On my favorite river, one of my favorite rivers in the country. He's swimming straight at the boat. Got him over to this side of the boat. And he's still wanting to stay down. He's got that old warrior cat bent over now, I tell you. Big old James River blue cats, you gotta love them. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah, solid, solid fish. That's the good thing about them monster rod holders. Stick a rod in there and not worry about it. way to start the James River trip off. <laughs> Let's get him back in the water. Boy, he's ready to go. Go, he's gone. I don't know what we got here, but boy, she hit hard. Hit hard and fierce. Now we moved and we're only in about 20 foot of water right here, but I love, absolutely love catching these fish in shallow water. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Boom, baby. Big old solid muscle fish right there. Look at that thing. <laughs> yes. I'm going to get a picture of it. Get her back in the water. Let's let this big girl go. <laughs> oh, man, this fish took off running. I've been leaving the cameras off today to save on battery, but I kind of come out here in the middle and uh, set up on a main point. A little bit shallower water to see what was happening. And the current just switched on us, just turned, and it started to come in. And uh, this guy picked it up and took off running. He ain't real big, but we'll take it. Diachi D85, and then I got a dropper loop. And we got about 10 ounces on the rod straight out the back. That's about a foot and a half dropper loop on that, and about a two foot uh, main leader line. Let's get some bait back on there. Get it back out there. I think them fish are really moving today. This lot will turn out to be a good day. It's been a good day already. Back in this creek, and I got one. Got one running with this one. There we go. That's super shallow back in here where we're at. <clears throat> but I wanted to try something different. Get out of the wind a little bit. The wind picked up out there on the main river quite a bit. caught a couple back in here earlier and I honestly didn't think I was going to catch anything but I did my lines all chafed up pretty bad oh. there he went <laughs> quick release he wasn't that big anyway
Here we go. We got a good one on here, I think. Oh. <laughs> About lost the rod. Well, I tell you what, that sun is bright. He's got every line. Oh, goodness. Good fish, but he's got every line. Back here in this shallow water. I mean, I just, I love fishing this shallow water. You can hear them. You can hear these blue cats working this bait back in here. go oh man he bit down nice blue cat healthy healthy we're gonna put him back see if we can't get that mess all straightened up he gone I tell you fishing these these shallow areas you know, for blue cats, it's absolutely a blast. Super aggressive bite. It just comes out of nowhere. You know, we're only fishing in like max five foot of water, but a lot of it is like three foot of water. And uh, we got some uh, stumps on this side that if they get in, you got a good chance of losing them. But there's a lot of bait back here sun's warming the water up and there's fish back here so gotta love it now, i tell you what now this fella He ain't that big, but... I seen that line. Another good thing about that line is you can see what is going on. And I was just wiping my hands off. And I just threw this one out there, actually. And, uh, boy, he took off screaming with it. No monster, but another one back here in this shallow, shallow water.
There we go. I've been doing a lot of different stuff today. Fish some shallow water, some wood, some structure, some contours. We're gonna be filming a show, Catfish Crazy show here tomorrow. So I wanted to try a bunch of different stuff and we've got a lot of good fish today. I come out here, the tide's changing, starting to go back out just a little bit. So I wanted to come out here and try some of this deeper water while we had a good soft current. We're in about 80, 85 foot of water. So I have to bring them up kind of slow. Got a couple rods just suspended and I casted four out. It's just a nice slow rolling drop down into that deeper water. And I was hoping why while this tide was switching, might be able to pick up a fish or two before we had to call it quits and go in. <laughs> Takes forever to get these things up when you cast out in this deep water. You gotta bring them up slow, let them burp. He doesn't feel real big. Probably about the same size we've been catching all day. Just good, fun, fun fish. I'm going to let him, I'm going to let him kind of flop right there. His belly swelled up pretty bad. He said he'll go back down. I'll probably have to burp him myself. Ah, there he goes. He's going back down now. Well, Come on. All right. Get him in. Well, he's a mean rascal. My poor thumb. I got a pair of gloves. I was wearing them this morning. Nice fish. Nice fish. I tell you what, folks, we're gonna call it right there. Sun's going down. Be a good one to end it on. It's been a good day. I'm ready to get after it tomorrow. Shoot that catfish crazy show. So, hey, if you guys like the information you're getting on these videos, make sure you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Go over and hit that like button. Share it if you get a chance, and until next time, we'll catch you guys on the water. God bless. Tight lines. I love it.